We're yeah, having some real technical difficulty here today. First of all, I wanted to just go ahead and get this ride underway. Um, I was recording the ride, and you know I talk with my hands a lot. And I hit the computer 17 minutes and some change into the biking video, and it stopped while I was talking about something. And then I started it again, and I was moving the computer around and showing you that it said 17 minutes. And then I showed you the screen of Tony Hendricks' very because her playlist is playing on my television. And then I got upset with myself because I was moving the computer all around, and I was like, this is just going to be sloppy. I said the first video, I could go ahead and post it and do a part one, part two. And I said, I really don't want to do that. And I was like, you did, you did all that writing and you didn't record it. And I got two more rides to take later on today so that I can post, set my videos to premiere in the morning and in the evening tomorrow. And I got a little disgusted, discouraged, etc. So I ended the second one because I didn't like the way it started. And now here I am recording for a third time. Just I'm just going to abandon the first two videos and just go with this. I have no idea how long this is going to be. Pretty sure it's not going to go over 20 minutes. You know, I do not have it in me. <laughs> I don't feel I have it in me to do 90 minutes on the bike today. And I got, as I said, two videos, two biking videos that I need to record today plus this one and I want to try to get it all done very early in the day and it's already 2 2.09 p.m. it's already 2.09 p.m. so it's just for today so that tomorrow you will have morning and night and I just need to be one day ahead to uh, make sure that I can get you the videos that I want to uh, that I can put out the videos that I want to put out so after my live stream I told you I wanted to do a biking video and post it within an hour and a half Fail miserably on that. It's cool with me though. I went off and I did a lot of stuff. I washed the dishes. I cleaned the kitchen. I swept the floors. I didn't have to make the bed because I remembered. Um, the place was so over. The place was so filled up with fumes, and I was feeling the effects last night from all the drug use of the people around here that uh, I came on out the bedroom and sat in the living room all night until I fell asleep. It was three o'clock in the morning. Um, what time, I can't, my windows were open late last night, very late last night because the place was so lit. So it was three o'clock in the morning, I was sitting in here, reading, watching the TV, and I'm looking at some stuff on YouTube. So I didn't have to make the bed. But I cleaned up my workstation. I, um, I started the day cutting my hair. Clean up my workstation and I clean the floors. I clean my door. I like to keep my door clean on the inside and the outside of my apartment. And uh, I like to keep the area in front of my apartment smelling, in front of my door smelling fresh and looking clean. So once a week I usually sweep it and 
take a couple of buckets of water and wash it down. And I prefer outside when sweeping outside and I have a special broom for outside that never comes inside. And uh, I just keep the head of it outside and the rest of the broom stays in here. It's from the Dollar Tree. And uh, so I prefer when sweeping outside the concrete to sweep it wet. So I pour the bucket. I fill it with something fragrant and uh, pour it there. Sometimes I have to do some of the stairs as well. But I fill it with something fragrant, pour it out, do a couple of those, and while it's wet, I take the broom and I sweep away the debris. That might be that might be the garbage truck, but I don't know why it would be the garbage truck. So again, second time I've heard the brakes out there. In the parking lot. So I did that. Clean my dishes. I actually dried them and put them away, which is unusual for me unless there's a big pile of them. Then I will dry half of the pile and put it away. I positioned the fans, of course, open up the windows. I have a headache coming on right now from the fumes from the, the drugs that are being used. I don't know where they are. The people using the drugs, I don't. Haven't had my inhaler yet. I'm going to need it. Because whatever this new stuff it is that they're using, it really steals my breath. And it gives me a major headache. And I have brain farts like you would not believe can't remember what I was saying or what I was trying to do. Just get all messed up. And I'm entering into that right now. It is what it is. For all you people who like to watch my videos and make things up about me, there you go. You got something to run with. You can go ahead and lie to the people and tell them that I'm addicted to drugs, don't want nobody to know, and making excuses for it in my video and blaming it on other people, blaming it on my neighbors, saying that I'm getting their, their fumes. There ain't no way she could be getting the neighbor's fumes unless she got gigantic holes in all her walls. Y'all know how y'all are, so you know, say what you want to say. Say what you want to say. So anyway, I'm trying to finish up this ride. People, this might only be 10 minutes because I have been biking. I have been biking and messing up in my videos. <sighs> Interrupting the, the recording. I'll probably put them all up there anyway. I said I, probably, I said I wasn't going to. But I'm just going to put them all up there. they end up in a playlist mark miscellaneous. And uh, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. You know how I am over here. Uh, I don't try to do anything in a perfect fashion. I just turn on the camera and I start talking and I do what I do. Whatever, whatever angles you get. Whether the lighting is poor or not. Um, whether I say ridiculous things, make errors, acting silly, so on and so forth. That's just the way it goes over here. Because uh, I spent enough of my life time. I, love, I spent enough of my time as a kid hiding and caring about all that stuff. Um, anybody who knows me, if they're embarrassed about anything based on my channel, that's for you to take up with your therapist and with Jesus. Really, that's for you to take up with your... Therapist in Jesus, I am my own person. I'm doing what it is I do over here the way I do it. And if you find anything on my channel embarrassing for you, I feel sad for you. But I, I can't help you. I can't help you. I do not allow anything you do or anything you say to embarrass me. You know why? Because I'm not you. <laughs> I got to live with everything that I do and everything that comes out of my mouth. 
You do not. <laughs> you do not. So I don't know why anything that happens over here is embarrassing for you. Ooh, if I can live with the stuff that I say and do and put out here the YouTube streets, I really don't see why you can't. I ain't gonna hang my head in shame over any of it. It is what it is. Sometimes I sound like I got sense and sometimes I sound like I don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. So, um, that's the way it goes over here, my people. Sometimes I use my words right, correctly. Sometimes I talk like I have some sense. And sometimes I say things that make me sound like I had no education whatsoever. I remember when I first burst on the scene and Cindy, but yeah, I love the way you speak. It, you take the time to enunciate. I've gotten so lax. So lax. I say ain't. I say gone. But what I do not say is I'm finna get this and put it over here. And I don't say my, I don't say stuff like that. But, uh, and I, I notice that I say uh a lot. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And I don't really care. I use a lot of double negatives now. It is what it is. I talk the YouTube lingo. <laughs> I taught the lingo of of the neighborhood <laughs> of this apartment building. Yeah, I speak like the locals, and uh, people I'm cool with. It. But if I were to go in for an interview, I know how to speak to the man. <laughs> I know how to talk to people like I have some sense. I know how to use my words. I can enunciate, articulate, all of it. I know how to pick up the phone, speak to someone, and then appear in their office and have them look at me like a, or say to me, uh, something to the effect of they thought I was a white person. <laughs> I can't stand that. So yeah, I cut up in front of the camera is what I do. Cut up in front of the camera. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm not trying to leave anybody feeling ashamed, embarrassed and all that stuff. I'm just over here keeping it real, doing what I do. And uh, as I said, sometimes I'm in a very serious mode sometimes. I'm very angry sometimes. I'm just playful. Sometimes I'm just downright silly. So anyway, for this ride, for this video, I've been in this ride for 13 minutes and 39 seconds. But when you put in all the errors, this machine keeps track of all your time. I cleared it out before I started. And so this machine keeps track of your time and uh, waiting for it to come back around. But I believe I've been riding for a total of 33 minutes already. But this video, as I said, because you know, people just don't listen. How she gonna say she been riding for 33 minutes and it's been a 15 minute video? Learn to listen. Made a lot of errors. I started this journey 33 minutes ago. I had to abandon two videos. This is the third video. So far in the third video, I've been riding for 14 minutes and 29 seconds. But this bike keeps total track of my time from the time I cleared the machine out. And I cleared it out about 34 minutes ago to bring you a biking video. I should not have to say it 15 times five ways. Because <clears throat> I already know what you're going to hit me with in the comment section. Which is why I don't even like to read the comments. 
because you just get on my nerves. Not talk, you do a lot of talking and very little listening. I do not understand why people like to talk so much but don't like to listen. Now I feel like Sin City. I think Sin City, I think her, she and I share that. I think Sin City has been doing her channel long enough and she has read enough of the comments and she probably started out trying to, you know, thumbs everything up and heart everything and respond to as many as she possibly could. And I think somewhere along the way, she said, you know, these people don't listen. I got to keep on explaining myself. They come up, they show, show up to the video and they don't watch it from beginning to end. No matter how short the video is, they won't watch it from beginning to end. And so, <clears throat> they get most of the things that she says in the video wrong. And so when she comes to the screen, and she makes a video, and it looks to her, and it, you know, it looks to you, and sounds to you, like she must have heard a voice in her head, somebody complaining about something that she said in the comment section, and you're like, ugh. She either hearing voices where she jumped the gun, ain't nobody said nothing to her because her attitude changes and she starts explaining something and it's like she gets mad but ain't nobody there, nobody said anything to her. I understand it because I just explained something and I heard in my head your fingers moving across the keyboard, typing all kinds of ridiculous stuff, putting words in my mouth, calling me crazy, calling me delusional, calling me this and that, because I said I had been riding for 33 minutes, but the video ain't but 17 minutes long. Learn to listen. <laughs> Learn to listen, because I know y'all be in there. I shouldn't have to sift through comments like that. I shouldn't have to ever type anything like, well, if you pay attention, you will understand that I made several areas errors in the video. And I had to abandon the first two videos. I had to abandon the first two videos. But because I had to make two more videos biking today, I didn't want to clear out the machine. <laughs> so for my first ride today, I have ridden almost 40 minutes. But you're only going to get 20 minutes of it because the rest of it was deleted. I said it, what, for the fourth time in the video? But still some fool will come along. So she can't add. She can't add. <coughs> so anyway. I'm now 18 minutes into this ride according to the uh, computer time. Once it gets to 20, I'm going to end this ride. And people, I'm just going to, this is probably not even going to premiere. I'm going to just post this. Now this one I'll probably, no, I'm not even going to premiere this one. I'm just going to post this one. And I'm going to post the one that I made an error in. And, uh, if you watch it, you watch it. <clears throat> That's the way I'm going to handle it. Because, as I said, I got work to do today. I have a reaction video that I want to get to. And I have two more rides that I need to do. And those three videos that I have a plan to upload today require me to uh, set some stuff up so that the lighting will be good and the sound will be good and I gotta change my shirt three times <laughs> I have to change my shirt three times to bring you the videos and hopefully after I've done all that Hopefully I can hit the shower before 7 p.m. My final shower for the evening. Hopefully I can hit that before 7 p.m. And uh, after that go into a total relaxation state. Knowing that I've got my videos, two of my videos out for tomorrow. And uh, my meat and potatoes reaction video 
out for tonight. And I want to thank you, say thank you to Tony Hendricks Green, who has been a great help to me. Her and her people have been a great help to me reaching my 4,000 views mark. I am this close, this close to 4,000 views already. Um, I still need 700. 700 or 650 something like that uh, subscribers but um, getting subscribers is going to take some time thank you for uh, watching the videos thank you for for subscribing to the channel thank you for leaving honest comments as opposed to lying about stuff. I don't care if you criticize me in the comment section. Just know there's a big difference between sharing your opinion and lying. Big difference between sharing your opinion and lying. And in my reaction video later today I'll be talking about that as well. Big difference between sharing your opinion and just telling a lie. So um It says 21 minutes, 37 seconds, and I really do need to conserve my energy. Now the drugs are in this corner, so I'm just going to go ahead and abandon the ride. Okay, um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and remember, in my live stream today, I put my cash app up there. And I was like, tip a sister, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, sixty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever it is you can, one dollar. Tip a sister. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing the cha-ching sound, the coins falling down from my uh, phone. Because you're sending me in cash apps today. And... Uh, with that said, be safe, my people. Remember to give somebody hope today and every day because it's a very easy thing to do. And uh, people, just live in truth, step in truth. Don't be scared to receive truth. Don't be scared to deliver the truth. Um, bring people your authentic self. Do not lie to get clicks and views. Really, if you give what you have to give, share what you have to share from the heart and in an honest fashion, you will be well received and you will be well blessed, well rewarded for your truth, for your honesty, for your unique style. You don't have to lie about people. I mean, defamation of character is a real thing where you can definitely get yourself in trouble. It doesn't make any sense to just come to YouTube and just tell lies about people. Just tell lies about people. Somebody said, and I'm going to do a whole reaction on it. I'm giving, I've been giving you a little taste of what's coming all day long. I ain't going to say your name until we get to the video. But somebody said in a video that I found at 3 o'clock in the morning when I was sitting in the chair over there with my feet up on the item and trying to get some rest. Because <sighs> I couldn't lay down in my bedroom. Somebody made a whole video. And they said this about me. They said, people, pretty much, it's official. I heard her with her own mouth. She made the admission. <laughs> this is what about me? She said, it's official. She said it herself. I heard it for myself in one of her videos. She said that she was making far too much money from YouTube to continue to get her food stamps. 
she was over her threshold to the people at the food stamp office cut her off because she was making too much money she said um, she said that I the connection rejection shut my channel down so I could continue to get my food stamps she said I would rather have my food stamps than to earn money from YouTube that's what she told the people that's what she told the people in a video she said that about me I ain't never said such a thing y'all saw my last pay stub my last pay stub was $220 there is no health and human service office that would deny anybody food stamps because they make $220 a month ain't no office nowhere gonna deny you food stamps because you make $220 a month from a job any job but this is what she told the people and her stupid viewers and her stupid subscribers believed her believed her said that I shut my channel down because my food stamps were cut off because I was making too much money she said she heard me say that for myself she said she heard they said she, she said she heard me say that for her my, my, my. Yeah, she did I could fool so I'm gonna do a reaction video on because one of my subscribers that was trying to buy up everything from my Amazon wish list one of my subscribers that was trying to buy up everything from my Amazon wish list and trying to win me over by sending me cash apps frequently she ran right over to this woman's room this woman's channel and she sat there and she listened to it all and not one of her fingers went across the keyboard to tell that lady that she was lying to ask that lady which video it was that she heard the connection TCR rejection the connection Burgess reaction videos say any of that yeah and that's why last week or the week before I blocked that subscriber from my cash app and I blocked that subscriber from my channel because that subscriber was trying to trash talk me and manipulate my views and I found her where in somebody's comment section that I will be doing a reaction video on later I'm not going to be kind I'm not going to be kind I'm not going to be kind in my reaction video because your whole video about me was nothing but lies. There was a, any truth whatsoever to anything you said. You just blatantly lied to the people and told them with your own ears you heard me say stuff with my own mouth. And as I said, your subscribers and your viewers must be high on something or must be fresh out the funny farm if they're going to believe you when you say that my food stamps were cut off because I was making too much money $220 for the month and the month before that it was 349 no, the month before that, yeah, the month before that was 349 that I made. And then it went down to 220. And you're going to tell the people that the people at the food stamp office cut my food stamps off, refused to give me any more because I was making far too much money? You're going to tell the people that I shut my channel down? Not for the reasons that I said I shut it down, but you're going to tell the people that I shut my channel down? So that I wouldn't have to pay rent? And so that I could go back to getting my food stamps? You have any idea how ridiculous that is and how that makes you look? But I'm going to point out to the people, I'm going to point out to the people, your subscribers, your viewers, 
my subscribers, my viewers, everybody within the sound of my voice. I'm going to point out the truth about you, and I'm going to go back years. You had it coming. Put your thick skin on, because you're going to need it. Peace.